What's that? Is that sound? It, it is. It is sound. Ooh. What a nice high-pitched whir. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn that down a bit, because that's, that's annoying. But yes, I have sound. Yeah. <laughs> it's been, it's been a while. I've been really great at getting my weekly videos out about every two months. So that's, yay! Um, but hopefully it's been well worth it. I have sound now, so that's exciting. Um... Without further delay, uh, I, I captured my live reaction upon getting it working, so, uh, we'll look at that, and then I'll talk more about this, and that'll be the video, so, yay! Okay, so, I didn't actually get my reaction on this, it's, um, 107 right now, um, oh my gosh, this is amazing, I'm, <laughs> it's, it's so great, cause, oh, I should flip it. Okay. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. Um, yeah, so it works. It makes sound. That's really cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, that's... Oh, <sighs> wow. Okay, so... Um... I... <laughs> Just, it just, I just tried it. Um, I'm at a loss for words mostly because I'm tired and I've been working on this since February. And before that, like a year, I wanted to make this. And I have sound. <laughs> uh, so everything I've gone through, um, tearing this thing apart, as I'll probably talk about later. <laughs> I made this little circuit just now. To be like, hey, uh, guess what? The voltage is too high, so I'm gonna scale you down. But it was right. It was, well, the power supply is actually off right now. Um, I haven't figured out a good way of attaching this because I just tried it. And it's like, oh no, because it stopped after about a just a blip of sound. Like, oh no, something went wrong. I shorted it, blew up <laughs> or something. Um, but this just doesn't really stick well to the, right there, so I had to hold it manually. And I, well. Um, yeah, I only have two hands, one for the knob, one for this, and couldn't get the camera. Um, oh gosh, can I, can I get it? I'm gonna put this down, you're gonna, oh. Right there, I clip it over the oscilloscope lead, I'm gonna turn it on. Oh gosh! <laughs> oh, it's so cool! <laughs> oh, it's so cool, because I get scaled. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, I feel like a child. I'm a child. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, let's see if I can um uh maybe well I can't really crank up the volume. It's a good um, let's see if I stick this under here, if I can have the phone hear it. Oh, look at that. Hopefully you hear that. I really, uh, maybe I'll, I don't know. Maybe I'll try and edit this one for real instead of just posting it raw from the phone. I don't know if you can hear. Is that, there's the microphone? I have the microphones down there. Look, that's happened when I change the knob. Changes, change the knob. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am just. Oh my god, uh, it's so cool! It's so cool. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just happy right now because it, it works. I'm shaking the camera a lot because I'm holding it. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, it works. It works. So, next day here. Um, I don't actually remember where I last left off. I think the circuit board has not changed. I don't think this has changed either. When I had this the scope on, actually, I should turn you on. Also, I 3D printed these little things so that the leads of the oscilloscope and the multimeter have a little place to slide into. Look at that. And I just
just goes right into the shelf. They clip on. Okay, anyway, before before we um I turn this and on the um blue line right here on the circuit is the output of um U2B which is the TL72 op amp and that is the reset line. So it's a ramp wave and it will slowly uh increase until it gets to a point and then U2B will trigger and there'll be a little spike which you will probably be able to see and then the voltage will drop down back to zero and then rise up again. Uh, and the yellow line is the ramp wave. It's gonna start out like that and then it uh, as the capacitors build up, I believe, it spreads out, and then that's it. And then I'm going to change the frequency right here. I'm gonna, can I lift this up? There we go. I'm turning this knob, and it changes the frequency, because that's really, okay, that's, that's cool. So, yeah, so what happened? Originally, it looked like the output was about seven times where it should have been. So right here, where the um, line is about... Uh, about 40 volts the ramp would peak at 40 and that was bad because you don't want it to be at 40 volts <sighs> when it's supposed to be at 10 you know I didn't want to plug anything into it because who knows what's gonna happen at 40 well I don't know what will happen to 40 volts I don't want to explode uh, headphones that's that's what happened I eventually contacted music from outer space I have yet to hear back from them but that's only it's only been a day or two and I decided I would just make a scalable thing. So I just scale the voltage down over here. Can I zoom in? Right here. So I made a little tiny circuit. Um, this would be like um, the scale or the volume almost. There's an op amp right here. I don't know if you can see it. But it's right there. And that would have converted the the 40 volts down to about 10 which I could listen to then because I really wanted to I was sick of just leaving this here so I wanted to listen to it and then I decided to move some of the cables around Oop, let me zoom back out so originally I had the for scaling purposes on the oscilloscope for whatever reason I decided to have the yellow cable in the purple channel and then I moved the yellow cable in the purple channel to the yellow channel and then it was the right voltage <laughs> so i don't know but yeah that that is what has happened um i would say i'm gonna post some more videos i don't have a good track record i'm posting videos right now um weekly videos every two months yay that's great um and yeah and then in the next video i'm going to probably finish the oscillator so we have um, triangle ramp square and sine waves and right now it only has tr uh, ramp waves which are my personal favorite of the base waves but I want all of them and right now it's not even like hooked up to the board because I have the um, quarter inch audio jacks so yeah I'm gonna do that then I also need to work on power and have a proper power management system. After I get power management and finish the oscillator, I'm going to work on a low-pass filter so I can hopefully get some more interesting cambers and uh, waves than this. Because that's not all that interesting. At some point, I'm probably going to make a video sort of organizing this mess and just sort of uh, what I plan to do with this. Because right now it's like... Build an oscillator, uh, and just, there's, there's no plan. There's an end goal, but there's no plan to get there, really. So I need to discuss that and have it in more formal terms than loosely in my head. So also one of the cool motivations for getting back to this was actually, um, I went to a, uh, fork show, fork as an F-O-R-Q, which is a snarky puppy group. I'm wearing this shirt right now. Ah, look at that. Okay. Um, that was great. I also got a chance to meet Henry Hay, the keyboard player. And uh, hi, Henry, if you're watching, because that was super cool. Um, and he liked my synth. And yeah, it was that was just really cool. Um, 
So hi, hi Henry. Hope I hope you've enjoyed this. If you're watching, let's do a, another listen before signing off. I have the ground is the green and then the yellow is the signal over here to the board and the ground is connected to the ground power supply. The yellow clip is clipped onto, can I zoom in? I bet I can zoom in. So ground is connected to ground power supply. Yellow is signal, which is connected onto the ramp wave piece, which is actually, it's like clipped over the oscilloscope wire, but it, it works, so I'm not questioning it. The first time I actually tried it, um, the, it wasn't clipped like that, and it just, I heard just a little tiny blip, and I was, I got concerned that something went wrong, but it actually uh, just didn't stay uh, connected, so I'm going to plug this in, it's an adapter, I don't know why I need to say all this. This one, I think it's this earbud. It's both of them. Both of these earbuds. I think the microphone's here. You'll be able to hear it more when I, um... Oop. Yeah. When I turn up the frequency, um... You can hear it more. Ooh. Anyway, that is all. Bye.